He's the world champion. But that was in the old style with headgear and point system. Roberto Camarelli, all that muscle and power at 33. Has he still got the fitness after uh, two big fights already to take it to the Azerbaijani? Italy in blue, Azerbaijan in red. We're underway. Well, Medzidov lost out to Camarelli at the London 2012 Olympics. He still took a bronze. Camarelli took the silver. He'll be looking for revenge here. A gold at the European Championships, Medzidov. Oh, my goodness me. A huge right hand on the nose of the Italian, but his neck, his head didn't even flinch. Well, these are big boys at the weight, and you can expect there's going to be some powerful, powerful shots here. Southpaw Camarelli already starting to come under pressure from the Azerbaijani. Goodness me, uh, Camarelli gets tagged heavily again there. It's not been a great start by the Italian. He's a double world champion looking to regain his title. Oh, and that was a good shot. Often holds his hands low, as a lot of the Italian boxers do. Well, they've got a swagger about them, the Italians, when they come. They bring a bit of flair to the proceedings. But uh, some big shots on the target going in from Medvedov. And uh, Camarelli needs to brighten up his act here a little bit. Just looks a little bit off point. Gracious me, what an upset here. Medvedev sends Camarelli to the mat. So a standing eight count, Camarelli holds his gloves up, looks at the referee, makes eye contact. We're underway again, 51 seconds. Medvedev, he didn't show this kind of power against Amorov, the Russian, and he tags Camarelli again. He's making the Italian look slow. Camarelli. Looked off point when he started. He took a couple of shots early on in the round. But that was a corker of a shot from Medvedev. And actually, I don't think that uh, Camarelli's fully back to speed again. Medvedev measured now in his approach, looking to finish this. Catches Camarelli again on the side of the temple. And, uh, well, the clock's against Medvedev doing anything meaningful towards the end of this first round. But what a shock. What a surprise. Oh, Camarelli there, just saying, yeah, I don't uh, I don't like the way he's knocking heads to me. The referee asked if he's OK. And uh, I think he'll be looking forward to getting back to his corner, Camarelli. Uh, the hands are finishing right up by his face there. They started by his hips, all cool and casual, the Italian. But they didn't end up like that. And uh, the number one seed in the world right now is going to be uh, in the lead after this. Look at that cracking right hand. That was early on. But Medvedev really brought it to the champion, and uh, I think there was a little bit too much swagger. Look at that right hand, it catches Camarelli, rocks him right back, and even he nods in agreement that it was an absolute peach of a shot. Well, at this weight, when you start throwing big shots like that, you're going to see upsets, and that's exactly what we've seen here. Well, Medvedev, he is uh, the reigning world champion, and right now he's... Uh, in the, the leading position, 10-9 across the board from the judges. And I think there'll be uh, a lot of Italians sitting uh, very anxiously, nibbling at their fingers right now as their hero, the Carabinieri, Roberto Camarelli, double world champion, is struggling a little bit with this younger, faster boxer from Azerbaijan, Medzidov, in red. So starting round two, Camarelli needs to focus up here start to bring some of that power that he's got at his disposal and uh, try and dissuade Medvedev from the task ahead of him, a task that he's set to in quite emphatic manner. Quite an emphatic manner. Camarelli relying on Medvedev coming in, but leaving himself exposed and wide, trying to evade some of the shots. And uh, Medvedev just looks that much sharper. He does, yeah. Camarelli uh, relying on this low guard. and It's just not working at 33. He just doesn't quite have the zip of Medvedev. 
Big swinging hands come in, and well, Medvedev sees them coming. Camarelli back on his toes, but still the hands not electrifyingly fast. And against a mobile customer like Medvedev, Camarelli needs to get back on point. And there's something about his body language, he shakes his head, he's not 100% focused. Yeah, well, he's, uh, he's complaining to the referee that he keeps getting uh, a clash of heads from uh, Medzidov, who's ducking down and in. And uh, look at that, Camarelli now trying to make his weight pay, getting on top of him, just leaning on him for a second there. Certainly needs to take some of the forward motion and thrust out of Medzidov. Big shot again from Medzidov. Oh, and he hits Camarelli. Camarelli has to focus up, doesn't know quite where he is. Medzidov didn't capitalise. But this is not looking great for the Italian champion. No, oh, the great Italian is struggling here. One minute to go in round two of this semi-final. And Medzidov looks so much crisper than he did in the quarter-finals. Well, it's interesting, Colin, because the hands of Camarelli have come up right by his ears now. No longer the swagger of the gunslinger. And he needs to be rocked back a couple of times. Yeah, one of his uh, one of his favorite punches it, it, it's either a big swinging right hand or uh, to the side or up in, uh, in an uppercut fashion he likes to leave his hands down low and Medzidov's is far too quick for that so the warning from the referee to both of them about the heads no, you just uh, you just wonder whether Camarelli's buying himself a little bit of time here by complaining he's uh, not entirely with it he's lucky there to uh, not get hit again he landed a good shot. Medvedev had to think before he came back to the task. But Camarelli's just walking into these shots. I mean, it seems to me it's going to be a matter of time before Medvedev lands a corker. Having said that, Camarelli finished strongly. Yeah, he gets a good punch in there at the end on Medvedev. You can see a little bit of blood coming from his right cheek. Morelli so often used to the uh, commanding position, right now he's struggling. Well, a lot of head contact there from both fighters, and uh, trying to get under some of those shots, Camarelli, but he comes in strongly there, and, uh, well, a good display towards the end. Two good shots making connection. Slips some of what Mezhidov had to offer. Well, let's see how the judges find it. Well, interestingly, uh, one, one judge gave it to Camarelli, uh, uh, a little surprised about that. He was uh, aggressive, that's for sure. But two judges gave it to Medzidov, which uh, I think was pretty fair. So 2018 for two of the judges and uh, evens for the other. And uh, right now, it's uh, not looking great for Roberto Camarelli as they come out for the third and final round. Uh, Medzidov of Azerbaijan, the world champion, has uh, one foot in the ring of the final right now. What can Roberto Camarelli do about it? If anyone can pull a knockout out, it's Camarelli. Well, at this weight, they're certainly capable of stopping their opponents. And, uh, well, we've seen Mezhidov very close to it in that first round. In three, Camarelli needs to pull something out of the bag. Well, that's a, a, a full warning, I believe, that uh, Medzidov has been given. We'll find out at the end. If it is, it's one point off of Medzidov's score. That could be crucial. Keep your head up, he says. Camarelli's been complaining about that throughout the fight, that Medzidov is uh, banging him with his head. Well, a little bit of sparkle now about the work of Camarelli. Roberto Camarelli coming alive in this third round, and... Uh, We've seen some of the steam come out of the work of Mezhidov. Maybe that, that's slowed him down enough for Camarelli to lock on as a target. But uh, Mezhidov still coming forward and still proposing huge problems for Roberto Camarelli. Well, this would be an unbelievable comeback if uh, Mezhidov did get that warning point and now Camarelli could pull this off and win this round and go on to the final considering he was rocked in the first round uh, and again in the second. He's got that uppercut from the left hand. Camarelli, it's a great shot. I'd like to see more of it here rather than that swinging left hand. Too fast. Medvedev sees it coming and actually uses that time when Camarelli's exposed 
to operate and uh, tighter work from Camarelli's needed here. Well, again, that left hand goes in straight. Better work from the Italian. Well, we have uh, just 55 seconds left. Camarelli needs to uh, dominate this last minute, get the score up, take the win across uh, all of the judges. He needs just to get a little bit busier to guarantee it. It's all about work rate, Colin, you're right. And these two, from our lips to their ears, they really are stepping up with just over half a minute left now. Apart from a little bit of clinching here, we're seeing some real top-rate work. Now these big guys look tired. 20 seconds to go. What can Camarelli find? Or will it be Medvedev who goes on through to the final? Will he get revenge for the London Olympics over Camarelli? Camarelli slips that big right hand. This is it. Time's up and another dive in with the head from Medvedev. And uh, that's the end of the contest. Camarelli, <laughs> he's looking for a snooze on uh, Medvedev's shoulder there. He's really been in a bruising encounter. I think either of these men, whoever goes on to the final now, 24 hours, it's going to be tough to recover. Well, Camarelli does try to come back strongly in the third round. Focuses up, gets tighter with his work. Big swinging punches from both fighters. It's not crisp, crisp, excellent, exacting boxing, but at this weight and at this size, well, it's effective. So, who is uh, the first super heavyweight to go through to the final? This has gone right down to the wire. The world champion or uh, the former Olympic champion, who will it be? They're still double checking the scores, it must be very close. Camarelli thanks the crowd here. Either way, he's put on a performance. High-fiving and hugging each other here. Well, that's a great display of sportsmanship, it really is, which is what Aiba boxing is all about. It's about sporting athleticism, and uh, the judges are taking their time, but it's wonderful to see the shared comradeship of these two men after such a bruising battle. I mean, they're really taking their time. This is the longest they've taken. Uh, they must be double-checking and triple-checking. Who's it going to be into the World Championship final? And it goes with Azerbaijan. It's Mentorov who is in the final despite that warning point.